welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the new best settings to use here in season four of call of duty vanguard if you guys are struggling with your aim accuracy as well as gun skill these settings are surely going to help you guys out i have 2v2 rockets to back up that these are the settings that i am running and they actually do work so with all being said the like goal on this video is going to be 350 likes if we can get 350 likes in under 24 hours that'd be absolutely incredible let me know down in the comment section right now what are your current season settings you guys are running here in vanguard and obviously the vacation squad i see you guys thank you guys for tuning into all of my content across all of my channels as you guys can see here i play with an xbox elite controller on pc and i have one paddle on the back set to jump and my personal pin this is gonna be one of the best controllers on the market if you're looking for something that has paddles they're very like the scuff gaming controllers the cinch gaming controllers and also i might add these settings are going to work if you are playing on a default controller whether that be on ps4 or xbox now you guys can also see here that i play on a three horizontal as well as a three vertical stick sensitivity i am a huge and firm advocate that you guys do not need to be playing on a high sensitivity when running vanguard all the gameplays you guys have seen on the channel so far are ran with a three through sensitivity on this game so i am accurate at longer ranges because that's going to be where a lot of people are going to be falling short in multiplayer anybody can take anybody out at close range it's going to be long range where things are going to count and where you're going to see a lot of your gunfights improving and you start winning those gunfights when you are dropping your sensitivity down something like a three to a five now you're also going to see here my custom ads zooms i've actually went ahead and reduced this from the one by default to 0.7 this is going to go ahead and remove a lot of the unnecessary stick play you might get when you're aiming down sight so you guys are precise and as accurate as possible take people out at longer ranges this is seriously going to go ahead and transform how you guys get in and out of gunfights especially at range on vanguard because on this call of duty the more accurate you are the more kills you're going to be getting and obviously you're going to be dropping people a lot faster being able to hit them in the chest or potentially a headshot so make sure you guys go ahead and drop your sensitivity as well as drop down your custom sensitivity per zoom now you guys can also see here that i play on the tactical button layout now tactical button layout is going to be the absolute best button layout no matter what control you guys are playing with is it has paddles in the back if not it doesn't matter you guys want to have on tactical so you guys can get in and out of cover faster and obviously go ahead and stay alive a lot easier because you're going to be less exposed when you're around obstacles you can also perform a drop shot a lot easier which is going to be super effective when taking enemies out at close ranges not that many people drop shot that much here in call of duty but you definitely can still do it with the tactical button layout 10 times easier than default so make sure you guys go ahead and have tactical equipped for your layout obviously for my button flip it's going to be default with the xbox controller you guys can flip this if you guys want to but honestly i don't need to and i would not do it anyway now you guys are also going to see here my controller vibration is going to be turned off i like to play with my controller turned off because i don't like the vibration that it does give it messes up my accuracy over longer ranges this is going to be a setting that you're either going to turn off or Turn it back on depending on how you like it in my personal opinion it's unnecessary i actually went ahead and removed the rumbles out of my controller so it's a little bit more lightweight and overall just a better feel in my hands now my aim assist response curve type i personally do not mess with this and this is why my settings are so good because this is on standard you guys can go ahead and change this if you guys want to but my philosophy is every single call of duty is different it's on a different engine that we know of right now it could remain on the modern warfare style engine but until we have you know that confirmed that it's going to be on the same engine i don't change any of this because the worst thing you guys want to have happen is get used to a setting and the next call of duty they take it away or they completely change it and you have to relearn how to aim and that's just something i'm not trying to do so i keep this on standard now for my controller gameplay settings obviously i have target aim assist turned on because i do play with a controller but ironically for my aim assist type i actually am running the black ops cold war aim assist setting the reason i go ahead and run the black ops cold war aim assist setting is because i actually mastered the black ops cold war function and it was available here in vanguard now i am taking a risk that this setting might not be in modern warfare 2 but it's a risk i'm willing to take because the aim assist functions in black ops cold war is what i got used to and honestly what i think is superior on vanguard allowing you to take enemies out very easily 
at close range medium range as well as longer ranges if you guys are trying to quickly improve your aim and accuracy try out black ops cold war i can guarantee you you guys are going to see a significant increase in how many times you can take enemies out at longer ranges now again everything else is going to be pretty much the same under these settings you guys can see that i have automatic airborne mantle turned off and i also have on automatic tactical sprint enabled just to go ahead and maneuver on the map and perform a slide cancel a lot easier everything else is going to be pretty much the same now we're going to go over to the audio settings which are dangerously underrated here in vanguard now for the audio everything is going to be pretty much turned up to the max so i can have that immersive feel and i can hear footsteps a lot easier i have the music volume turned down 50 percent just so I can focus in on the gameplay and not have to have drowned out music audios playing through my Astro headset. Now, speaking of audio settings, we're going to go over to the audio mix, which I have selected to home theater. This is going to be the best setting to run if you guys play with a headset, allowing you to pinpoint gunfights, pinpoint footsteps. You guys can go ahead and have a more immersive feel and kind of figure out where people are at without having the use of a UAV. I can hear a gunfire, so I know where people are at, and also I can hear footsteps from players that might be behind me so i can make an adjustment and take people out very easily definitely a good audio setting to go ahead and run again if you guys are playing with a headset doesn't matter what headset home theater is going to be your best option now again everything else is going to be pretty much the same i have not messed with any of these settings because i don't really need to now for the graphic settings you guys can see here that i play with a monitor on pc and i have full screen borders so a lot of people have been wondering why i play on full screen borders it's because i have a lot of apps open while i create content i have on obs i have an elgato it's just easy to go ahead and transition between the two but if you guys are not making content and just playing the game going ahead and having full screen is going to be the better option so i kind of take the you know the hits slightly with the graphics by playing on full screen borderless but you also can see that i play with an asus monitor now i did not play with a monitor up to black ops cold war and the asus tough gaming monitor is going to be a great option if you guys are trying to upgrade from a computer you know lower tier monitor or maybe even a tv to a actual gaming monitor which is going to be allowing you to have 1440p which is unbelievable with 144 hertz per second it's going to be ridiculous now also you guys are going to be seeing here all these other settings are going to be kind of the same i haven't messed with any of these because i don't really need to and it's also going to be calibrated to what type of graphics card you have anyway now for the quality settings we're going to go over here now again all these are going to be kind of dependent on what type of monitor and pc you have i have a lot of things turned up i also have some things disabled again it's going to be kind of personal preference on what your current setup allows you to run now for the gameplay settings you guys can see here that i play on 120 fov with the affected ads field of view this is going to be the absolute best setting to run for the field of view at least run at 100 to 120 i see a lot of people running the standard which doesn't really make any sense we have the option to crank that up and with the affected ads field of view you're going to see yourself winning a lot more gunfights at longer ranges because it's going to feel like your gun has less recoil when in reality it's just visual recoil a lot of people think that people that play on pcs all have some type of aim uh, aim bot anti-recoil it's simply our field of view with the proper ads field of view which is going to be affected make this change i can guarantee you're going to see a huge change in your gameplay these are going to be the absolute best settings you guys can run here in season four of call of duty vanguard remember you do not need to run a crazy high sensitivity on this game i'm going to keep preaching it drop that sensitivity down if you guys are trying to see a drastic increase in your aim accuracy and gun skill over longer ranges and also go ahead and adjust your ads zoom so you guys can be more precise if you guys do do this video and end up checking out any of these settings you guys see you know your kd rising or potentially dropping even your first v2 rock with these settings let me know down in the comment section of this video make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications i got two v2 rockets using these settings and i absolutely destroyed everybody in the lobby so yeah let's get right into it This guy is literally spraying at nothing. That fellow was literally spraying at nothing with his little piercing vision. Jesus Christ. Local informants are helping you 
Teammates are literally a godsend right now with the local. I can't believe that one kid killed me. I'm telling y'all, man, sometimes this game doesn't make any sense. Like, I literally, like, did not... That was kind of irritating right there. Why are we... Whatever, I got a replacement. That's all that matters. Bye-bye. Nice teammate. Let's pop this up again. You have literally a local informant train going on right now. Special. We got to get this guy out this corner. Body armor. Go, oh, baby. Let's go, baby. Easy. Appreciate y'all, teammates. But nobody's up there. Appreciate y'all, teammates, putting up those advanced. Don't tell me the spawns are this shit. That they're spawning behind us now. Oh, I got the Black Mastodon guy on my team again. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder this was slight. Hell yeah. I got my man Black Mastodon on my team. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. I just played against this full last game. He was popping off streaks like it was nothing. Died from behind. Oh, here comes the lag. Ooh. Hey, we were too much for him. I don't even know they're still back here too. Must have playing. He's still in this he's still in the train car. Oh my god. I'm one of these sorry players that look at him. There's somebody back there. Losing a picture Come on, man. Armor it up real quick. Kind of running the spawn right now. I mean, ain't really nothing I can do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rush these kids like an idiot. That guy's in that train car. We flipped the spawns. I mean. And they spawn it right there still, so it's kind of chalk for them. Yeah, that was kind of scuffed on there, on there, and I'm not even gonna hold. Rotate it up here. They do a jammer down. Game. Fuck.
Let's go, baby. Easy V2 again. I'm getting shot to the wall. Holy shit. Taking A. Nobody got ammo. What oh, type of gunship we can go on in here? Ooh, so much of the ammo box. I knew to go back. Push up. Capturing Charlie. Enemy counter recall. Gonna rotate back over to C. What the fuck? The teammate just saved me right there. the one gas for I stuck somebody in there I think no thought I did Can we not flip the spawns Let's not flip the spawns. Oh shit, they're all back here. Damn it. We definitely messed it up. Yeah. We not got enough time. Hostile frag grenade. Victory in reach. Double kill. Ah! Recon up. We have eyes. Yeah, not enough time. Let's just drop the nuke. Maybe. I mean, if, this, if we didn't flip the spawns, I would have probably had time for a double. But all good. As you see, it's kind of difficult to rotate because they messed up the spawns from. When the game first came out, so they always farm in the back, and it's super hard to get them out. But overall, good game. I got like 90, high 90, maybe 100, squeezed it. 101 on the dot, hell yeah.